Ooh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's Monday, I just finished up with work. And, um, so I've just been working all day, I did a workout, I showered. Kyle, what have you been doing all day? I booked the energy bus and then played video games with my friends and my brothers. Um, hung out the dogs, took a 30 minute nap, did the dishes, now I'm sorting clothes. I literally texted Kyle 30 minutes ago. It's like, if the dishes are not done and your clothes are not put away, I will be very unhappy because he's been just like chilling all day and has had plenty of time to do those things. And his clothes have been sitting like piles upon piles, right, babe? Nope. Yep, huge piles in our guest room and in the laundry room. So it's time to put those bad boys away. My laptop is on all of our bedding because I'm about to wash it. This actually goes in the guest room and matches the guest room decor. It doesn't really match our room, but it's so soft. Cause it's UGG, so it's so soft. So we've been using it in our room and our comforter that actually matches our room is in the guest room. Um, I actually recorded a vlog all weekend and for some reason it is just not cooperating in Final Cut Pro, it won't export. And obviously I've been working all day so I haven't had the time to try to figure it out, which is sad. Second news is we are officially on the way with our podcast. Um, I edited it, uploaded it to the thing, like our, I don't know, you have to like have it on some sort of... <laughs> you have to have it on some sort of like server that's the word i'm looking for it's all uploaded onto our server i submitted it to spotify and itunes today um so it could be on there for people to listen so i'm just waiting for that to get approved and then we'll officially launch it for everyone but you can go follow us on our instagram two guys dot one pod because two guys one pod as a whole was taken which is really annoying so yeah go follow us um on there and our first episode will be coming really soon um so yeah that's about it i think i'm gonna try to daily vlog and to post something like every single day because why not um our evenings are pretty chill <laughs> my only worry is that it'll get boring because it's not like we're out and about doing all these fun things but i don't know i figured it'll give me something to do in the evenings and stuff um so anyways yeah work day over workout done and now we are going to do what i don't know what we're gonna do Let's make TikToks. We're gonna make some TikToks. We're gonna make some TikToks. All right, guys, I'm downstairs. The office is on. Um, I should probably pause it, but I'm just being really lazy. Game my work laptop is down here because I do have to be available. Um, I Even though I already did my eight hours, I'll keep my laptop around in case because I know some people start work later than I do. So I do want to be available for them if they need me for anything that's like last minute, urgent, important. So I'm doing that. I did get a new kitchen little mat thing because um, I had just been getting like little cutesy mats from Home Goods, and they don't last very long because I have two dogs that are dirty and are bringing in dirt all the time. So I just needed a more durable one hmm. for the kitchen. I just made myself a snack. It's the Skinny Girl Pop. Um, and I'm gonna get some Nutella to dip them in, you know, to <laughs> balance out the fact that it's supposed to be healthy popcorn. I don't even know if it really is. It was just like the only one that were left when I went to the grocery store and got popcorn. So that wasn't really a me choice. That was a um, available food choice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna dip my popcorn in here. When I was little, I used to take like chocolate syrup and pour it in my popcorn bag and shake it all up. So yeah, I've been doing that. I just have had such a sweet tooth this past week because you know, it's that time of the month not to be too TMI, but like I've been eating so incredibly bad <laughs> and my body feels it. So I need to start being healthy. I feel like I was just getting back on my healthy like kick and then we got quarantined and that was just a bummer. Like I finally found such a fun gym and I was gonna get up and go consistently every morning before work and I like only bring healthy things to work too, which is really good. But now I'm home and I can eat and snack all day and like I'm a snacker. So it's been not well for my body, hence the breakouts. 
and all this crazy stuff going on. So anyways, I hope that I can get the weekend vlog that I filmed up and can figure out why it's not working because it was actually, I feel like, a fun vlog. I mean, we rewatched the championship game um, that Kyle played in and we took the dogs to soccer field. I baked and all that stuff. I hate when he does this. You rang the bell to go outside and now you want back inside? Maybe go join him, Koda. Go play. Hmm? No? I forget what I was saying, but oh, the vlog. I just really hope that I can figure it out. If I have time tonight, I will, but I just want to hang out with Kyle because even though we're in the same house, we don't see each other all day because he stays downstairs and does whatever he does and I'm upstairs working. So anyways, I'm going to enjoy my snack. And then I think Kyle and I are gonna make TikToks and it's gonna be dinner time, so yeah. Uh, Kyle is doing a podcast right now and I just, I'm in the mood to bake and I thought, ooh, I'll make like little donut balls and throw them in the air fryer. But then I'm like, oh, but I don't have the ingredients to make the glaze and like honestly, I don't have the full ingredients for the donut holes either. And it's just frustrating because I have like a, enough, but like not enough. Um, so next time I go to the store, I'm just gonna keep baking in mind for when I'm bored and I want to bake and buy like all the baking stuff. Maybe I'll just go through all the this cooking book, which I love by the way. I'm just gonna go through every dessert and just buy stuff. I think I'm gonna make this banana bread honestly again. These cinnamon squares look really good, but I don't think we have all the ingredients for them. Actually, I think we do. I think I still have yeast left. Just got exciting. Maybe I can make these cinnamon squares. Ugh, well, I think I'm just honestly about to make the banana bread again because our bananas are going bad. So I'm gonna leave three or four of them and try to eat them up this week. But the rest, I think I'm about to just make some more banana muffins. I saw these little like flourless cake things that you can make in mugs and that's just cocoa powder nutella and an egg i think or something like that so i'm gonna try that later after dinner but while kyle is doing that i am just gonna <laughs> look at coda oh life is so hard for a puppy anyways i'm gonna make the banana bread again i just used joanna can's recipe i don't even measure it out anymore i just like put all the ingredients together, mix it, and then add when to get it to the consistency that I want. Since I made it so much, I just like know what it's supposed to look like, if you know what I mean. So I think I'm honestly about to make those again because they're so good, except I don't think we have chocolate chips. Shoot, so I can't make those either. It's honestly like not as good without chocolate chips. Like, we don't need that stuff, and I'm not gonna go to the store until like we need food which probably won't be until like the end of the week. So no baking for me, I guess. It's so sad. I feel like we had another one somewhere. Our pantry is just not organized at all. And honestly, I can't even reach half of it. So it's hard for me to see what we have. Maybe that's what I'm about to do. While Kyle is um, podcasting, I'm gonna clean out our, whoa, I'm gonna clean out our pantry. Okay, so I cleared out just this first top drawer. This is all the food that was in it. It's honestly like not an insane amount. It just wasn't organized very well. And honestly, that Instapot just took up a lot of space and I don't use the Instapot to be honest. Like I strictly use our air fryer because <laughs> I just think the air fryer is like the greatest thing in the world and I think it's easier to use and easier to clean. So I think I'm just gonna take that out and I'm gonna try to put like the cereal on one side and then the snacky stuff on another. And some stuff is just really random, like it just shouldn't even be there. So I'm gonna try to figure this out and organize it. So I'm gonna go back to my little, I forget what you call it, time lapse. I knew we had more chocolate chips. I'm for sure making banana muffins. I knew it. Oh my gosh, look at Coda. <laughs> he wants his food. Oh, good boy. Coda, sit. Sit pretty. 
Uh-uh, that's not sitting pretty set. There you go. That's a good boy. Is it too early for dinner for them? Okay. Well, okay, so I finished the pantry. So here's what we have going on. We put his ginormous box of fruit snacks up there in the pressure cooker since I don't use it. Here's where all the baking stuff goes. Um, towards this end is all the different sauces in olive oil. And then we'll do like more baking, like the sugar and flour and everything right here. But right now it's over there because I'm about to make muffins again. And then this is like all topping stuff like walnuts, white chocolate chips, um, almonds, powdered sugar. And then back there are the coconut chips. And then this side is like the breakfast side. So we have the syrup for when I make pancakes, honey for smoothies, all the peanut butters, pop tarts, granola, all the different cereals. And then this side is like our snacky side. So we have all of our snacks that we eat during the day right here. And then down here is more for dinner type stuff. So we have all of our pasta back there, soups, tortillas for tacos, our white rice, and then hidden back here is all the treats that are bad for you. So the Oreos and all the cookies and more fruit snacks are hidden back here. And then this side is just like miscellaneous things that we use randomly, but not all the time. So they're just kind of tucked away right here where they fit. And then right here, that's where all of our spices are and stuff that I cook with. And I put the dry yeast there just so I don't lose it. And yeah, that's the pantry. Doesn't it look so much better? So much better. I can like see everything. Is feeding the dogs and they are so excited. And then I am going to make <laughs> banana chocolate chip muffins again, even though I just made them yesterday, but they're literally already gone. So. Um, it's time for me to make some You're more. You're fiending to cook something. And I'm fiending to cook something, but we don't like, quite have the ingredients for everything, which is sad. So next time when we like need food to go to the store, babe, I'm gonna buy like so much baking stuff. Okay. <laughs> Why'd you make that face? Then say it. I have nothing to say. Say it with your chest, boy. Basics for what you need to cook banana chocolate chip muffins. You need brown sugar, chocolate chips, salt, flour, baking soda, and then you also need eggs and bananas. And I feel like, ooh, I'm missing vanilla. Could you grab vanilla? Oh no, it's right here. Vanilla. I think that's it. I don't think I'm missing anything. Just pop them back in to say something else that you need is um, salted butter. Forgot that, but you need that. So Kyle's gonna film for me, but he his podcast got me back. So now he's doing that. So I'm gonna mix all the stuff in a bowl. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all mixed in the bowl. But those are the ingredients that you use, and I'm sure you can find her recipe somewhere online. Okay, guys, the dough is done. This is what it looks like. It's all in the pans. I know this is messy, but honestly, I'm usually more messy than this, if you can believe it, and it's getting better. So only growth in 2020, am I right? <laughs> but no, seriously, I know this is bad, but you know, I'm learning. Welcome to the master bathroom. Uh, so first of all- What's up guys? It is the next morning. It's about time for me to start working, but I thought I would hop on here because Last night I stopped recording because I just got really discouraged and in a really bad mood. So I made dinner and then Kyle and I were making, trying to recreate this TikTok and I got really frustrated and really unhappy because I just saw myself in the TikTok and I just didn't like the way that I looked. And this is something I've been struggling with for a long time. I've just been really insecure about my body and the way that I look. I try to stay away from full body pictures as much as I can unless I can like kind of manipulate the way that I look to make myself look like I'm smaller than I actually am. And I don't want to say smaller, but I don't know. I just, I'm really scared to talk about this because I feel like you get shamed a lot on both sides for bringing up weight and I do want to say like I think every single body type is beautiful and I love that I'm curvier like I don't I don't want that to go away I just don't feel healthy I don't feel good like I'm for my height and body frame I'm definitely 
like not at a healthy weight and I think it just kind of came out of nowhere for me and I know it's because I eat terribly and I probably should work out harder even though I do work out quite a lot um, I also think there's something else wrong with my body and that's contributing to this but it's also part of just like my hormones changing my body changing as I get older and like becoming more of a woman so I think that's just part of it and I don't want to be like the same that I was in high school um I think I'm just used to always feeling healthy and feeling good because I played sports like basically my whole life and in college I worked out a ton like I just always felt healthy and good I've never like restricted what I've been eating or like don't let myself indulge like I just try to for my main meals I try to eat like decently healthy and if I don't oh well like not a big deal um so I know I don't eat like super healthy but I just don't want to restrict myself like I just feel like that's not a way to live but I do try to focus on making sure I'm getting good hold foods throughout the day but I'm definitely an emotional eater too which is really bad so anyways long story short I just like was feeling really down on myself and just not really happy about the way that I looked and was just in like in a crappy mood about it all night which is so silly so today's a new day um just gonna keep doing what I can to control it and try to eat better and work out probably harder which is hard to do in this quarantine but yeah I guess I just wanted to open up about that like every woman has the point like there's a threshold for every single woman like it doesn't matter what you look like every woman has a threshold and they have a point where they feel like so confident and good and healthy and like love themselves and then a point where they're like ugh, like I just look in the mirror and I just don't like it and I think that happens for every woman and I think that people are afraid to talk about it and like it's not like I like I love myself like I just don't exactly love how I look right now and that's okay and I can just make steps to be healthy but still understand that like this is the body that God gave me and I just need to sort it better and that's it and I don't believe in like dieting and excessive exercise and all that stuff i'm just gonna try to live a more balanced healthy life and implement really small things during the day to just make me feel better it's not even about losing weight it's about feeling better so anyways that's why i didn't vlog the rest of yesterday so i was just feeling super down so i think i'm just gonna make this a two-day vlog because i don't think there's a lot of footage to make one full vlog so like I said, I am about to head into work, <laughs> work from home, so I won't be vlogging like during the day because I'll be working, but um, once I'm done working, I will check back in with you guys. What's up guys? It is lunchtime, so I'm gonna go make a quick lunch. Kyle just went to let the dogs outside and like get their energy out and stuff. Um, I know it's bad. I'm literally still in my PJs, like haven't gotten ready. I've only brushed my teeth and taken my vitamins. And I really know it's good to like get ready for the day. I know that, I understand. But I just like to shower and if I'm gonna work out later, I'm like, what's the point of getting dressed and getting ready when I'm just gonna change? And then those clothes are kind of dirty and then i'm gonna shower and then put on other clothes and it's just like a whole thing i just don't like getting a ton of clothes dirty if i'm not really going anywhere come for me i don't know I, that's why i think my morning routine won't be that exciting to people um i have 30 minutes for lunch which is nice so change of scenery i'm just gonna make one of these harvest bowls um from daily harvest this one has um tomato sweet potato wild rice uh great northern bean avocado red bell pepper nutritional yeast and my taki mitake i don't know how to say that that's what it looks like this bottom one right there so anyways all you literally do is throw it in a bowl throw it in the microwave and you're done so that's what i am going to eat for lunch okay this is what it looks like it's like steaming up the lens it's so funny 
Uh, this is what it looked like. I know it doesn't look very appetizing, but trust me, this is so good. It's one of my favorite bowls that they have. So I'm gonna enjoy my little 30 minute lunch break and then get back to work. And I will see you guys when I'm done with work and it is time to work out. Hello guys, work is over which is really nice. I am gonna work out right now, so that's what I'm gonna do, just put some YouTube on the TV, do a quick workout, like a quick 30 minute workout, and yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, just thought I would update you guys. I just got out of the shower, I decided to put on a face mask because my hormones decided to take my skin for a ride this week. Like it took my skin on the scariest ride in the amusement park and just wrecked it. My skin did not enjoy the ride. It will not be coming again. So I decided I need to do a face mask and I'm doing this Bare Minerals one. Um, it's a mask duo, Be Bright slash Be Firm. And I did the Be Bright because I have a bunch of scars all over my face from the acne that I got this week. And I'm hoping that, you know, bright, dark spots, that means it makes the dark spots brighter. I honestly know like barely anything about skincare. So I'm just gonna hope that that's what this does. Either way, my skin needs a mask. So I'm just gonna let this sit on my face for a little and then I will take it off and continue with my night's festivities. But for a post work slash workout slash whatever day, just a little, just a little self care. Hello, it's a little later. Kyle's rewatching uh, the Sweet 16, like the Sweet 16 game against Purdue. Uh, when they make it to the Elite Eight afterwards. No, that's not right. This is the Elite Eight game, I think. I think. Not sure. I'm starting to make dinner. I'm preheating this. But I'm sad because I realized that these are still frozen and I thought they would be thawed by now, but they are not. So. I um, need to figure that out and then I'm just making asparagus with it and then I'll probably make Ooh, you know what I should start making brown rice now because it takes longer okay dinner is going we got the rice cooking that actually I think needs more water I just did a cleanup of the kitchen counters and Kyle Swiffered the floors after I vacuumed and I say this every time I clean, but I feel like our house never looks clean, never feels clean, no matter how much we clean it, it just always seems dirty. And it's so annoying, because we clean so much, don't we? Yeah. I mean, if we don't vacuum for one day, it looks like we haven't touched our house in months. And it's so crazy, because we only have one dog that sheds, but I feel like our house is just always dirty. Are you eating my rice cakes? No, they are. What? You give my rice cakes to the dogs? No, that's my first time. Oh, I'm just gonna give him one. So, yeah, our house just okay. always feels dirty, and we legitimately clean it so much, so it's so frustrating. And it's not just like barely clean it, like, I feel like we deep clean our house once a week. You for sure do. I for sure do. Maybe not him, but I for sure do. And it's just always freaking dirty and I don't like I don't want to pay someone to clean the house like I can clean it but at this point it's like am I doing it wrong <laughs> dinner is done and literally I was just talking about how the house couldn't stay clean and it rained and we just swiffered the floors <laughs> so now the dogs are bringing in their muddy footprints everywhere and now the floors are dirty again from the dogs even though we just cleaned them and they look like we haven't touched them in weeks but we did, an hour ago, so. Yes. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this vlog, guys. Um, we're not doing much tonight. We're just gonna play some games and call it a night. Just gonna hang out and play some games. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.